Hey guys, this is Jules. Welcome to my fourth video of my clothespin kits. This one here is called um, Farmer's Market and this one comes again with the 9 inch clothespin and um, it's all like, I believe it's all pine. Be very careful when you're taking this apart. If you take it apart, um, you can really hurt yourself. I've already pinched myself once. Uh, before so just be careful you might find little areas that might have little nicks on it but that's there's like not one that will not have one it's really really it's normal and it doesn't do anything but add some character to your piece so um if there is a little spot there and that's not nothing that i did it's just in the shipping it happens but when i ship it to you it will come separate i will take this apart for the shipping for it for the ease of it it'll all be packaged in bubble wrap so um It'll be carefully wrapped, so just be careful when you put it back together, okay? What I did is include three different kinds of papers with this kit. Um, it's a little bit different than the one than the paper that I used because I only had enough that I wanted to use for this kit, and um, I just used some leftovers for my clothespin that I did. And um, it's the very first first video before these four um, that you've already seen the kit or the clothespin that I made. So um, here is the three you get this one with the peaches and whatnot on there this one is um i think it's called miss manners so it's got all the utensils and everything on there this one's the polka dotted red polka dot and then um flip side this one has the vintage cherries or fashionista vintage or something on it but it says it has cherries on it sorry so you can see get a better look at that oops um this red gingham here is what the peaches are on and then this one here has the blue gingham like a the picnic tablecloth is what this looks like so then it comes with a doily which actually i just found that this one has two pieces but it's going out to you anyways so i already separated it for you there somewhere here it is right here really hard to get these apart but um, make sure you take it apart because I tried to use it and glue it down and I ended up pulling it, it was, just looked like it was peeling off so make sure that you make that you are making sure that you have one layer when you're tucking it down but this one has a different design than the other ones very pretty I loved it in the clothespin that I made comes with a bag or a package of bling this comes with the crystal bling and they will um, only these kits have this particular ones I think it's the first one and the second one that vary in bling then you uh, get from the die cut page, you get this piece here, really cute. There is a Spellbinders die cut that I cut out. It kind of looks like a little bit of a placemat, but you can use it however you want to. And then all these pieces. I'm counting, sorry. Okay, so you get nine pieces in your kit. Kind of a lot. I don't think I use that many, but still. Um, a couple of, of tea dye tags if you want to use it for stamping or um, photo mats or whatever you want. You get a couple of those. This one you may not want to use, I don't know. Um, there's a cut slit right there um, to fit the twine. And this is some twine that I bought from another website. This is not Wild Orchid Crafts twine. Um, I just want to make sure that people know that I'm not reselling what they give me, okay? Um, and I already mentioned that in another video, but I'm just, I just cannot stress that enough. So there's three tickets that are plain white cardstock, and I sell these on my blog. The tickets and some alphas and stuff, if anybody's interested. Um, this one ticket that says admit one. This one is a vintage ticket that I get from a website, um, a friend of mine that sells a lot of vintage papers and stuff. There's this stamp here. I cut that out. Actually, that's from the die cut sheet, sorry. And then, come on. This is a button, it says Domestic Goddess on it. Okay. So you get that. And then a brown paper bag. Farmer's Market, what do you buy? Fruits and vegetables. And I always get a brown paper bag. So um, as you saw in my video, I, I, used, I used this one and made a book out of it. <laughs> it's cute. I like it anyways. You get some uh, berry sprays. There's four stems here love playing with berries i love it love this too um you get the one with the little gem balls and then the berries that are sugared some that are not and some um floral stuff on there 
I tend to put it together because I don't want it to uh, float be floating everywhere. So then you get a couple of these uh, rhinestone or chandelier drop flowers. Sorry, I'm just trying to pick the webs off there. There's always webs on that when you're using glue, hot glue. Then there's these. Um, these are like a uh, interfacing type of fabric. Um, so it looks like it's regular fabric material that came off of my berry spray. And I pu pulled them off of here. I've got these black berries. So you get um, two small ones and a big one. And I think I used just one of them on mine. You get three of the fabric leaves. And then you get your berries. You get two of the red and one of the black. I believe they're both, uh, all the kits are the same. So, be, and these come off, so um, you can pull it off if you want to or just glue it down, okay? Then you get some some fabric. And this is what I was going to use for my curtain, my kitchen curtain. And um, haven't made it yet, but it just, it's a, it's to me it screams country vintage kitchen. So, <sighs> Anyways, I'll put the measurements up on the screen there so that you will know. But you can use these for flowers if you want to make a flower for it or whatever. I'm also including the chipboard piece that I used to, to put in my clothespin to put the uh, recipe on. So um, I believe it's four and a half, four and a half by five and a half. So do whatever you want with it. You'll have a lot of paper left over if you want to cover it with paper or you can paint it. Then. Here is some small eyelet that I sell on my blog. And I have tons of this left. I've sold tons of it, but the spool doesn't seem to end. Um, now, well, I explained, I think, on my video how I um, made the rough, made this a ruffle kind of a trim. So um, refer back to that if you want to. And I can do tutorials if you guys really want me to, but um, you can do the hand stitch and then just pull the thread and it gathers. Okay, but it's up to you guys. Let me know if you want it or not. I try and do tutorials by request. And here's some muslin. Um, just a strip of muslin. You can use however you want. You can tear it up and make ribbon if you want to or make a flower out of it and spray it down um, with some Lindy's or however, your inks, whatever you want to use. So there's that. And then some of Patsy's beautiful wrinkled ribbon in the beautiful bright red. Love it. It went perfect on my clothespin. And I don't know if I shared it on my video, but I use Folk Art Cardinal Red for my clothespin um, that's underneath the crackle paint, so, and it went perfect. So I like that. I also used some of Lindy's uh, Poinsettia Red Gold that I colored some roses with, and the red matched perfectly too, so I love that. You got a couple of these beautiful daisies. You get some Prima Rosettes, uh, six of these. There'll be a, a three flowers here. There's a trellis, um, a trellis rose, and then you get the um, wild roses. Okay. Or is it wild roses or curly roses? I know there's a wild curly, which is my favorite, but I just can't remember which one this one is. I have to look at the package. Then you cherry blossoms. Um, again, these are uh, wild orchid cross flowers that I purchased for my kids. So you get five of the red and you get three of the white. Love that. Um... Patsy's, not Patsy, um, Rosella, a friend of mine, um, sent me some of this beautiful, beautiful vintage lace. And this is like, uh, like yard sale and estate finds and stuff that she gets. Love, love her stuff. She has some great stuff. I'll put her link below if I remember. Um, so you guys can check out cause I know she's, I think she still has some lace that she's selling and it's just beautiful. So, um, this one here is about a, maybe a yard or a little less. Um, my goal was to use like a, a foot and a half. But for the kits, um, it's way more than that. So there you go. And then your little charms. What I didn't use because I forgot was the buttons. I forgot to use the buttons. But the clothesline effect that I uh, made on mine, uh, I just had to include the clothespins and the tiny ones. Um, they're just so stinking cute. So there's three of them in the kit. You get five of these little flowers these bead caps you get five of those okay then you get um, a couple of jump rings one to hold all the utensils and then the other one to you can hold it up on um, put it up on ribbon or on the twine however you want and then just a variety of different buttons that I've had in my stash and they are the almost exactly the same for the kits they're all pretty much the same you get the same amount 
like this big blue one, two big blue ones, and then a couple red ones, a little dark blue, um, the dark green, and then a couple little green ones. So they're pretty much the same. Okay. Um, I think one thing that I did not put in here that has that the other kits have is the vintage pages. Um, doesn't need it, honestly, to tell you the truth. And um, I didn't feel the, the need for it when I was making mine. So um, what else is there? can't remember what else but I think that yeah that's pretty much it for this kit and if you guys have any questions let me know if you're brand new to my channel remember that when you order from my blog it's the shipping is totally separate and um, you can read up on that at, at the bottom or at the end of every sale post or the shipping policies um, or shop policy that I have on the right side of my blog um, you can read up on there. I'm going to end up putting it in a, in a post because it's just, it looks really, really long and it's really not long. It just looks long on the column there. So, um, yeah, that's it for those kits. And, um, I only have a handful of a couple, but I have a lot of the very first one. Um, so yeah, you guys, thanks so much for your request for being pa so patient. I really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, stay tuned. I'm hoping to put uh, together a couple more things for the end of the year. And, um, yeah. Again, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And again, thank you so much for watching. Jewel signing out of the Jewel Box. For the Jewel Box. <laughs> Bye, you guys.